everyone back again on the youtube grind I'm losing my voice so please ignore if it goes a bit like rickety rockety i went to center parks over the weekend and there was a lot of like fun being had so i've screamed quite a lot like on slides and things like that so i'm losing my voice a bit but patience is a virtue guys so just be patient with my voice but yeah i thought i would film like a catch up get ready with me i'm holding this fully man so I just literally just get ready for the day i've asked you guys some questions on instagram so we're gonna get straight into it before i start i would like you guys to suggest what youtube videos you want in the comments down below because i'm really struggling with ideas um and i really want to get back onto the youtube grind because i really enjoy doing it and you guys enjoy the videos so please let me know what you guys want to see anyway let's get into the video so i'm going to start off by using my pink honey brow soap for my eyebrows first question this is a really good question and i liked this and it was if you could achieve something and you wouldn't fail what would it be so essentially i guess that means like if i could do something and i know it's not going to fail like that's the deal then what would it be um i don't really know to be honest i guess it would just be to have a like happy healthy family i think that's what i would do not so much like materialistic as like business because i feel like if you don't never fail during your business journey you're not going to learn anything you kind of have to fail a little bit to learn stuff but i don't believe in failing to be honest i think you've just found there's a quote and i'm pretty sure it's by thomas edison and it's like i haven't failed i've just found 10,000 or whatever ways that don't work or something like that um so i don't believe in failure to be honest i believe in trial and error and you kind of have to get some things wrong to then know what's right otherwise no one would know what's right if no one got anything wrong i think i'd do like happy healthy family of my own and things like that um and like happy marriage when i get married for primer i'm gonna use my hangover x fist and my coco gold perfecting next question was how long until you move house so if you didn't know me and chris uh, are currently in the middle of moving house at the moment um we're currently staying at chris's parents because on our old apartment we had to be out at a certain time but our new apartment isn't ready yet so um yeah but we should be in the new apartment at the end of the month um, everything is pretty much finished they've just got to connect like the gas the water and the electric and things and that's down to the council so everything's booked in as far as we're aware so we should be in by the end of the month which is really exciting so let me know if you guys want like a new apartment tour home halls things like that and i'll be happy to do them i wanted to go get a coffee from starbucks and i realized that chris has taken my car to go to golf because i don't really know why i didn't take his but he's taken mine so now i can't go and I'm not to show it on his car, so I can't take his car. Great. Uh, no coffee for me this morning. For my base, I'm going to use the Iconic London Radiance Booster. This is really similar to the Charlotte Tilbury, but I just prefer the way it looks on my skin. Next question is, you work with Chris a lot, and how do you find it mixing relationships, mixing relationship and professional? Uh, yeah, so we have ownership in Hewer, so we work together in our clothing brand. Um, but within my social media, um, no, I don't really work with Chris within that. Occasionally he'll do like a brand deal or something with me or he'll do his own brand deal. Um, but within my social media, no, that's all me on my own. Regarding Hugh at working together, we find, we have found like the perfect balance. Um, I don't know how and I don't really know what we do to find that balance. But we also do enjoy working together and we really enjoy each other's company. Of course, as being in a relationship, everyone needs a break and things like that just from each other like that's completely normal like humans aren't designed to spend 24 hours a day together we found a really good balance i don't really know what the balance is but it's just it's just natural now like that's just how we work now like for example like on days where we're not working like full days together he'll go out like i said like go do golf with his friends or something like that or i'll just pop out for a coffee with my mate hannah um, and that'll be pretty much like how we separate our days um but yeah we're pretty good at like working and relationships together it's just it's how we've always sort of been like we've never known anything really different we've always sort of worked together or both been working at home um so yeah i feel like because we got together in lockdown as well we got quite used to each other's company quite quickly so yeah it just works okay i've had a few questions about my boob job and it has been exactly a year since i got them done like a few days ago I'm gonna run through the general consensus of them questions however i do have a q a up um for my one year post op on my youtube i'll link it somewhere here but i'll just mention a few comments everyone said 
For concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser one. I'm going to use the Lancome one as well. This concealer is so good. It's like, I know pink concealer is a big trend right now. And this one is amazing. Sorry if you think I'm gatekeeping, but I've literally just got it, so I'm not. Um, but as you can see, can you see? It's quite pink, so it corrects the under eyes, which we love to see. So I'm just going to blend that in first and then I use the other concealer. So regarding my boob job, the general consensus of the questions is do you have any regrets? And no, I don't. I do not regret it at all. It's the best thing I've ever done for myself. I believe that if you have an insecurity and you can fix it and you want to fix it, by all means, why not? Um, but obviously if you don't want to fix it, um, that's absolutely fine. It's just an insecurity that I personally wanted to fix. So I did. I'm very grateful that I was in the position that I could fix it because I know not everybody is. Yeah, anything else you want to know, just click the video in the cards above because I did a full on Q&A one year per stop on my opinions of it and everything. So if you want to see about that, then go there. I'll conceal it up. Someone also asked, where do you get your Jersey headbands from? Literally Amazon, the one I'm wearing now is from Amazon. I got like a big pack of them. Um, if you want me to link up on my Instagram story, I can do, let me know. Um, but yeah, I literally just got them from Amazon. It was a pack of like a few different colours. The best accessory of 2023. That's my solid opinion. But look how bright my under eyes are. Who can complain? I'm going to use my Pink Honey Face Frosting in the shade Buttercream. Someone asked for first date tips. Now, fun fact, I've never really been on many dates. Like I think I've gone on, like obviously I've been on some with Chris, but like... Not, I've not been on many first dates, that's what I mean. Um, I don't know, I feel like our generation just don't do that. Like, whenever I've been on dates, it's been, been with like an older guy, um, obviously before Christian. Um, it's been with like someone that's older, um, because that's like in their generation. When I say older, I mean like, I was, I'm gonna say seven, 18, and they were like 20, but like, Obviously, that's still a bit older, so they like actually do take you on dates. Um, but yeah, it's, it takes a. I don't know. I've only ever really been on dates with like a certain type of guy, but like, I don't know. Most of the time, they just like meet up with you, don't they? But like an actual sit down date, I've not been on many. But I would say, I don't really know because any guy I've been on a date with, like I've been friends with all, and then we've like gone into a mall and gone on a date. Um, but I would say literally, I know it's so cheesy, but just be yourself. Um, if there's any awkward silences, just try fill them. Um, this usually on every day I've been on anyway, I've never really had like an awkward silence that I've had to fill. Um, but yeah, I've not really experienced that sort of first date thing because, like I say, I've not really been on many um, like actual first dates. Um, I've only ever been on dates after I've already started like talking to the guy, and we're already pretty established. So yeah. I do know they can be awkward, so, yeah. But, I mean, if, if there's no awkward silences and you're full on chit-chatting, then you, you, you're cool, you're fine. Just fully try to get to know them. Try not to catch the ick, because I have done that on a first date and it was gone, but try not to catch the ick. I mean, it's the first time they're meeting you, yeah, they're probably just as nervous as you are. Um, but, yeah, try not to catch the ick, because um, that's never fun. I fully, like, ended a seven-month relationship because I got the ick. It got that far. It really did get that far. Seven months is quite a lot to just end it over an ick as well, but it was a bad ick. Like, oh, it was bad. It was bad. It wasn't even anything like, it didn't do anything like really bad, but like, I just kept getting the ick and I was like, I can't, I can't do this. But it was so random. Like, seven months in, I started getting the ick. I was like, what is going on? Because I was fine before that. I'm going to use the P. Louise Cheek of It blush in the shade Gentle Ginger. I need to get more of these because the applicator, the formula, it just blends so nice and I absolutely love it. She's absolutely smashed out of the park as P. Louise. Like, I literally used to buy her stuff, like, years ago. Like, genuinely years ago. And I'm pretty sure I got offered to model for them, like, years ago, but I just didn't do it because, like, anxiety was like, no, when I used to let anxiety completely control my life. Someone said, how did you know Chris was the one? So, me and Chris have quite a story. Um, which I'm pretty sure I've explained before, but like in a really old video, so we'll go through it again. So me and Chris met when we were like 12 or 13 or something like that, and we went out for two weeks, I know, long relationship. But then after that, I don't really know how it ended, it literally just, I just stopped talking to him, I just, he disappeared off the face of the earth. Um, because he lived like an hour away from me when I used to live in my hometown, so it just sort of, when you're young, you just sort of lose touch. Then we got back in contact when we were about 16, I want to say. I'm going to use the Jordana t-shirt setting powder to set my under eyes. 
anyway back to my story so we got back in contact when i was about 16 and he was about 15 i want to say and we just started chatting again um and ended up meeting up and things like that and obviously we were quite young and then we start and then he asked me to be his girlfriend and we started going out um we went out for i want to say eight nine months which is quite long when you're that when you're that young but i didn't really fancy him that much and he was proper chasing me so i was just like fine gave it a shot and ended up really really liking him so because we were quite young but i was i was older than him i sort of understood my feelings a little bit better because i don't know if you've ever done like gone out with someone in like the school year below you but it does change the maturity massively because they are hanging out with younger people and at the time i was in college he was in still in school so the maturity levels were vastly different by the way the reason i was 16 well everyone is 16 when they first start college but i was 16 for the entirety of that because my birthday is in august so i was 16 and 17 so 16 my first year 17 my second year and the relationship just really just ended very badly like it ended on good terms and then he sort of was very young very immature and he sort of um like if when we were going out i would tell him like when i was annoyed at my friends or whatever and then when we broke up he told my friends what i said and they all kind of fall, fell out with me even though i didn't say half the stuff chris is all apologize for this now you won't mind me saying it but i didn't say half the stuff that he said i said but obviously he's young he's immature he's gonna make stuff up because he was mad that we broke up or whatever i don't know so i had him blocked on everything for i'm gonna say like two no a year and a half i had no idea what he looked like i had no idea what he was doing i had no idea like anything i got to lock down and I had made up with all of my other friends and it was just him to like make up with. Um, so I just unblocked him on Instagram. That's all I did. I wasn't expecting it, any sort of message. Unblocked him to let him know like, look, like I'm fine with you now. And then he messaged me like, what do you want? And I was like, oh, um, I just unblocked you to like, want to be friends again because I'm friends with everyone else. So he was like, whatever, that's fine. And then we just kept like chit chatting and stuff. He ended up asking me to model for his clothing company that he had at the time. He had a vintage clothing company. Um, and I came to Hull to model for him. And we ended up kissing. And then he played hard to get. Then I played hard to get. Then he eventually was like, look, let's give it a go. So we gave it a go. And we've been together for nearly three years now. So it's going pretty well, if you ask me. So yeah, that's our story. But the way I knew he was like the one, it's just like we've had so much go on. I don't know what it is, and he he said the same. But as soon as I sort of met him, I know I was young, but I kind of knew I was going to end up with him. That sounds so stupid. And like, obviously, there were times where I thought I'm not ending up with this guy because I hated him. But I sort of always knew I would end up with him. I don't know what it is. I just I just knew like something in me just knew we'd get back together. Or like I wasn't waiting on it or anything like whatever. But I just sort of knew that he was like we were like meant to be that sounds so stupid but i do genuinely believe he's my soulmate and he believes i'm his so yeah we're just i feel like we're just like meant to be i don't know he is the absolute love of my life so yeah i got a little cringy but you know by the way i'm using this bronzer <laughs> i forgot to say it's a shout out to the bronzer i was just too carried away with talking for blush i'm going to use the milani luminoso blush Another question, someone asked, what's my five year plan, like goals? I don't really know, I just want to be married, have, kid, have a kid or two um, by then, um, hopefully. Um, and just be happy, like just be happy. That's my aim, just to happy, content, um, and then like business side, just be like a successful businesswoman. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's kind of where I want to be in the next five years, just happy, that's what I want. Set my face. I'm just going to use the Beauty Crop Glow Milk to set my face. Use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara in the chocolate colour for my mascara. Just curling my eyelashes. When I was how long did it take you to pass your driving test? So I've just actually filmed a video um, that's up, which is how I passed my driving test, which is in the cards above somewhere. But um, how many times did it take me? It took me two times, but I failed my first one, then one got cancelled, another one got cancelled. Um, and then I passed second time and now I love it. I love driving and that was my get ready with me Hope you guys enjoyed um, our little catch-up and watch me get ready and that was my updated makeup routine I guess but yeah, I will see you in the next video again Please let me know what videos videos you guys want to see in the comments down below. I'm desperate, but yeah, I'll see you later. Bye